see so many friends, colleagues, supporters, new friends of Jane Doe. It's just really remarkable. We work with all of you in this room in so many different ways. It's, it, I can't even count that. We have people here who represent our board, and I want to thank you so much for all the work that you've done to make today and every day possible. The staff, and I do have to shout, do a shout out for Tony True. Yes. yes. I want to thank the Timultees again for your amazing generosity in making this day happen. And many of the dignitaries who are here today really appreciate Governor Patrick to join us to honor Diane, which is what this morning is really all about. Um, I, I told Diane, I remember this wintry day that when I sent her an email letting her know that we wanted to honor her at this breakfast. And a couple days later, she responded that she would be honored to be honored. And <laughs> I woke up this morning remembering that and feeling so excited and proud because as someone who has been in this work really for most all of my life on so many levels, um, have I think I want to say, and I can say on behalf of all of those of us in this work, on the front lines and in many different ways, in all the ways that everyone here contributes to this, we thank you from the bottom of our heart. And I thank you because you've given voice to something that has been silent for so long, and you also are an inspiring role model about the ways in which we can talk about really hard issues. And, you know, I see every day in the media domestic violence and now sexual assault, which are words we actually talk about. We say those words publicly, which is an enormous change from a year ago, even not to mention 10 or 20 years ago. And I feel that Massachusetts has made a, a forever lasting imprint on these issues in large thanks to the work that you've done, that you both have done, but in the work that you've done is talking about your own experiences and giving voice. And we thank you, and we're happy to celebrate that today. And it's so appropriate that the title of this event is It's Your Business Breakfast. Because not only are we bringing people together from the business community and the nonprofit community who are thinking about ways to make this our business, but the double entendre, you know, you just can't be lost on what that means. It is our business. It is everyone's business to find a way in your daily life, in your family, with your friends, with your colleagues, in your communities, to talk about these issues. And I know I'm always saying that we can't only talk about what we want to prevent, we also have to talk about what the world is that we envision. What are we promoting? And we have to set that tone and vision because then we move ourselves toward that place and think about it and we make it so. And so Jane Doe, Jane Doe is a network and a coalition of more than 60 community-based organizations across the state as well as a network of all of you, our stakeholders, our supporters, our funders, that work together to bring voice to these issues, to enable survivors' voices to be helped, to heard, and to promote social justice. I feel like I've reached a point, a really important part of life, where we can actually talk about social justice publicly and use those words. Um, and that's a very important thing because I think justice and equity is really something we all are working towards. I don't have enough time to tell you about the amazing work and the incredible staff that I have the honor and privilege of working with every day across the state and at 14 Beacon. But I think I want to just mention that our work on policy and systems advocacy, which sometimes, which especially in this particular um, time of year, is very, very evident and present our work to mobilize men across the state through our White Ribbon Campaign and our work around responsible fatherhood. And we've been so thrilled to have Governor Patrick as our chairperson for the White Ribbon Day Campaign and our honorary chair this year. I think that work has really just opened so many doors. And the work of our membership that who save lives, thousands and thousands of lives every day, every year making the world a safer place, 
with few resources, not enough, never enough. Can't not, can't not say that. And so this is a day where we can be thankful that we have reached this point where we can honor an amazing person who has made, changed the landscape in Massachusetts, I think, forever, and set a tone for the country. And so I want to thank you all for coming here today. Hope you'll learn more about Jane Doe. Hope you'll come back next year if this is your first year. Hope you will work with us as we move forward. And now it is my deep pleasure to introduce Suzanne Dubuque.